Are you serious? Are you serious? Deep impact. Well, NASA is now working with the National Nuclear Security Administration on a plan to use nukes on doomsday asteroid. Now, this is an actual report from the Huffington Post, and we knew that they were working on it, you know, but you just keep, you keep waiting for the confirmation because the number of asteroids, the number of comets, the number of meteorites continue to increase as we enter into this galactical belt. Some are concerned about, of course, Planet 7X or Nuvaru, the dwarf star. What all is that bringing with it? It's not going to hit us, but what all is it bringing with us? We're entering into, without question, uh, a barrage of asteroids. And we know this in 2013, in February, the one that exploded over Russia was so incredible. Matter of fact, listen to this report. NASA, if NASA has it, has it its way, the human race won't be going the way of the dinosaurs anytime soon. Now, this is a Huffington Post report. The space agency is teaming up with the National Nuclear Security Administration to work on a planetary defense plan to deflect a potential doomsday asteroid so it doesn't strike Earth, according to the New York Times. Last week's announcement came ahead of the first official asteroid day on June 30th, which is coming up. June, everything's June 30th. That's also the deadline for the Iranian nuke deal, the six superpowers that are uh, with Iran. June 30th is a day scientists hope will raise awareness of the threat posed by a near-Earth objects and encourage governments to develop a better plan to defect, excuse me, to detect and to track down these asteroids. Now, June 30th is the anniversary of the 1908 deep impact of an asteroid that hit in Siberia that wiped out 800 square miles of forest. Now, the surprise impact of 2013 in Russia from the meteorite, which caused a 500 kiloton airburst over Russia, shows potentially threatening space rocks are still out there. Oh, yeah. Not only are they out there, we're, there's more, we're dodging them right now. And they're increasing. Now, there are swarms of them orbiting between Mars and Jupiter, says Neil deGrasse Tyson, the director of the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. And he said the 2013 panel discussion of asteroids, quote, and some of them have orbits that come in a little too close and cross the orbit of the Earth around the sun. So the plan would be to NASA to work with the uh, National Nuclear Security Administration to devise a plan to deflect incoming asteroids. Why are they so concerned? And just... Yesterday, we just found out that space, that Google Sky, that Google Sky uh, opened up and allowed, uh, allowed us to look into space, into a certain section of space that they had had blocked off, that they had had literally heavily censored, and they let us look, and you can see a major star, dwarf star, comet, what is it? People are saying, is that Nubaru? Is that Planet 7X? Well, of course, we can't get any answers on that. NASA quit talking about Planet X in 1992. They never mentioned it again. But now we're hearing about the doomsday asteroids. And, the, and there is now agencies teaming up. And, the, and we're starting to get bits and pieces, if you will, from the, uh, from the United States uh, government. We're slowly leaking this information into the mainstream media, softening us, as if they're softening us up a little bit in preparation to tell us what's really out there and what's a pet, uh, you know potentially coming this way. Now, let me tell you what the Bible says. Okay, if you want to get some facts, go to the Word. 
in the book of Revelation, in the 8th chapter, and the reason I'm going to read this is because the last three videos I did was part 1, part 2, part 3. The Pacific Ocean is dying. It's literally becoming a wormwood process. But it's, there's one thing missing, and that is an asteroid or a, a comet. This is what the Bible says in Revelation chapter 8. It says these, ver these words, 8-8, eight, eight, Revelation 8-8. Eight, eight. And the second angel sounded, and as it were, a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and a third part of the sea became blood. And a third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And a third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became Wormwood, or bitter, or poisonous. And many men died of the waters, because they were made bitter. Now that is a prophecy, Revelation 8.8. 8. No, we're not in that time. But we're seeing the precursor. We're seeing, for instance, the Pacific Ocean, which is a third of all the waters of the earth. We're seeing the uh, bitterness, the radiation, the plant life, the, the animal life dying. And, uh, and we're now hearing about NASA teaming up with the National Nuclear Security Administration on a plan to use nukes on doomsday asteroid. What doomsday asteroid? Is it one that they know of, or is it one potentially they know will eventually hit us? There's just too many asteroids out there, and we're entering into more and more and more. Well, the Bible says we will get hit, whether these guys team up or not, and Wormwood will happen. We're living in the final days. It's just about midnight. The Lord is coming for the bride. He's coming for the, those that have been born again and are followers of Jesus Christ. Have you been saved? Don't miss today's live broadcast, 12 noon Eastern, at my website, www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Also, don't miss my brand new television broadcast, every Friday night at 11.30 p.m. Eastern on World Harvest Television. It's called The Coming Apocalypse. And you can find it on DirecTV Channel 367 or Dish Network Channel 217 every Friday night starting July 3rd. July 3rd, every Friday night at 11.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll take all the current world events. We'll break it down as we went in and uh, recorded our television broadcast in a television studio. And I believe that what you'll see is um, the confirmation that the Lord is coming soon.